know how the doctor said he doesn't like hugs? He must really hate group hugs. So, Oxygen, a story that at the time seemed like a game changer, yeah, isn't anymore, but hey, this is a good episode, it's enjoyable, of course, it's it's a very fast one, James Madison, great episode, as usual, he's really great writer, he should really write more, he could have said, he could have. Yeah, just write more. This episode is a base under siege story mixed with zombies. Except they're not zombies. Because they're smart suits. Or, well, yeah, this is a good idea and I like that idea. The fact that they're, they're not zombies, they are dead bodies, but they're killed because they need to save oxygen for money. I like that, even though evil businesses have been done to death in Doctor Who, especially in Series 1, it's still nice. And hey, Jamie Madison does it again like he did on, he's actually made his characters forgettable in which order they die, like Tasker, the one who dies first. What? I... Yeah, he's bland. And then... Darren... Yeah, he's... He's... Well, I say he's got a character, but it's mainly just... a uh, well... His first lines is about rescuing a racist, which... Okay. Fair enough, you can... I'll give you that joke. But then he doesn't really do much and he gets killed. It's just so one of the most memorable things about him is he's blue. Great. But I did like the fact that they had this Darren Darren thing. It's as I said, they have put those sort of things in this series. And I like that. Well, another thing, well, i say what I don't like. Well, when I first saw this, the doc's going blind. I wasn't sure about this at first, because I thought, what's the point of having him blind for half the episode when he's going to be back to normal at the end of the episode? Because, well, even everyone, including the Doctor, was expecting this to blow over at the end of this episode. And I'll give them credit. They didn't. They kept on for another two episodes. Two episodes. And if I actually made this review on time, I would probably would have been very annoyed at that. But, in hindsight, I suppose it could have been worse. But hey... It was interesting, it was something new, the Doctor having to solve this whilst blind. And another thing, Bill, this was, Bill's getting a lot of development this series, and I like it because, well, each episode of Game is something, and this episode really is just what she does in bad situations, like when a smart suit malfunctions. And another thing, I am actually really surprised at how well she took the Doctor leaving her and then her essentially being killed. I That was impressive. I'll give him that. I, that was something new. He didn't just give a 
great big speech and it was fake out, he actually did. So, well done, Jamie Matheson. And another thing about Jamie Matheson. He does like the Doctor talking the enemy out of it, doesn't he? Because, well, he did that on Mummy on the Orient Express and he did that here. Not to say that's a bad thing. They are, these are both good stories. But, well, it did work, but then again, he was essentially talking to suits or a business. And that's pretty much my main issue for the episode. Where, whereas I thought it did work. We've done the biz evil business corporation thing before. And really. This. Especially in series one. This sort of just. Especially me. This sort of just went okay. Alright then. Woo. But hey. It is what it is. Another thing, I Nardole. Generally, he's he sim again. I liked him here. He wasn't annoying, and the fact that he stood up to the Doctor at the end, that was really good. I thought that's what he needed for his character. And another thing I liked was the group hug when he just joined in hugging the Doctor, because we got to know Nardole. With his ex, which surprisingly he has an ex. I didn't expect him to have even have an, even have a girlfriend in the first place, but hey. And as I said, the group hug. It's just a nice. Nardole could have been much worse. He could have been like Mickey in series one, but he wasn't. He was nice, and he's a good character. So. Overall, I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10 because it's a fun episode and even though it relies on an old premise for the villain, still does it, it still does it well and all the characters are good except the ones who die first but that's pretty much the same case in every episode of Doctor Who. But it's Jamie Matson. He's a great writer. I really wish he'd write for the show more. And I hope Chris Chibnall keeps him on. I hope he... I, I hope he does more. Like a regular thing. And something like, if Mark Gatiss leaves, I hope Jamie Matheson could like do something like Mark Gatiss is doing. Because he's a great writer. Anyway, next episode, The Pope... And Doctor Who trying not to have, doing the best to not offend Christianity whilst involving the Pope. And they do it in a pretty good way. See you then.